Aloha friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial we're going to work on eyebrows, hair and possibly nails if we get to it. To draw eyebrows and hair on our doll we'll need some Prismacolor pencils. I have four colors, sandy bar brown, beige, light umber and sienna brown. These two colors I use for when I want to achieve more of a blonde look beige and sandy bar brown because they're not as red and these colors right here are more red as you can see light umber and sienna brown um, this is what i would use for a brown hair or a little bit reddish hair even these prismacolor pencils are available pretty much on any website that sells anything and everything that has to do with reborns i got mine on bountiful baby but you can get yours on other websites. They basically sell individual colors. You will need a little pencil sharpener to always keep your pencil sharp because you're drawing hairs basically. Um, you will need a baby wipe or a damp cloth and that's pretty much it. We can start on our baby. As you can see here with Cheyenne, I put her eyes in so it kind of helps you visualize her better. Doesn't she look so cute already, right? Now, I already drew some eyebrows on her before the video, but I'll show you how I did it on the piece of paper. Just kind of a basic shape of an eyebrow. Before you start drawing your eyebrows and hair, you always want to test the color maybe on the back of the neck. Do you guys see the difference? This is the color I used and this is more redder color. The nice thing is, is that you can always wipe it away with a wet cloth or a baby wipe. Just like that. So that's what makes it kind of nice because if you made a little mistake, you can always wipe it down and apply some more. And here's close up of the eyebrows that I drew. You can kind of see a little bit of hairs but overall from far away uh, it just looks nice and natural you don't want your eyebrows to be like really dark unless your hair is also really dark you really want to match it to the hair you're going to draw so i would start with little wispy um, eyebrows and then you can always add to it so let me go ahead and show you on the piece of paper how to draw it okay guys so this is just a regular pencil I'm going to use to show you. This is just a Crayola pencil. But basically, when you find that natural bow in um, your kit, you know, a little raised eyebrow bone, um, that's where you're going to draw your eyebrow. And of course, it starts kind of like this, where the hair is kind of looking a little bit up. And as it goes, to the end, the hairs are kind of starting to lay down, right? Now you don't need to draw this line, I'm just showing you like where the brow bone is and this is kind of where to draw the eyebrow in relation to the draw bone. Let's draw it again without that line, okay? So the hairs are going kind of up and then they're starting to lay down, right? And here when they're kind of standing up the hairs are really light but somewhere in the middle here of the eyebrow is where things get more darker and more thicker and this is where you want to put more of your color and then right here there's also hairs going this way right somewhere in the middle to the very end of it and so very light here right and then starting to get more um, I don't know why it's not drawing here probably a drop of water here um, getting more darker right and a little bit more um, of this pattern does it kind of make sense let's go ahead and do it on the doll now okay guys so first of all let's go ahead and put eyes inside of our baby Lillian so we can visualize it better how to draw her eyebrows her eyes are wide open, so, but her eyebrows are actually pretty close to 
her eyes, not like Cheyenne. Her eyes are actually not as wide open, but her eyebrows look like um, very surprised, you know, like they're raised up. So that's kind of interesting. All right, so here's baby Lillian. I'm going to use the same color as I used on Cheyenne just to kind of line out where the eyebrows will be. And then I think I'm going to use a more brown color or more reddish color because she's going to be a little bit of a redhead or a lot of bit of a redhead. We'll see how she will end up. You can kind of see where we put red uh, blushing on her eyebrows, right? On her brow bone. And that is where you're going to draw those eyebrows. I really hope you can see what I'm doing. You see how I'm going down where the hairs are laying down now? And kind of more parallel with the eye. Uh, but here the hairs are kind of standing up a bit. Now it's very light right now. Um, just so I can see if I like it if, or if I have to change it. Sometimes it helps to turn the head upside down when you're doing the other eyebrow. Just let the brow bone um, guide you. Now remember, as they say, eyebrows are not twins, they're sisters, so they don't have to be identical. Nobody has identical eyebrows. So don't worry if one eyebrow looks perfect and the other one is a little different. It just adds to the realism, so no worries about that. And as I said, if you have any mistakes, you just use a little baby wipe and you wipe it down. Just before you draw again, you want to kind of dub the moisture out so it's completely dry. You also want to keep sharpening your pencil so it's always very sharp. It's starting to look nice. I know it's very hard to see anything at this point, but we'll get there. And of course, as you're drawing with this pencil, you will have little pencil crumbs. So you just kind of um, wipe it away with your hand, with your dry finger, and it should look just fine. So I'm going to work on her without talking to you guys, and I'm going to, I don't know, maybe speed it up or whatever. Hopefully you will see what I'm doing, and in the end I'll show you the end product, okay? All right guys, so these are the eyebrows I came up with for baby Lillian. I'm sure they're not perfect, but I think that they look pretty good especially when we pair it up with some hair here. And by the way, with baby Lillian, I am planning on putting a wig on her, so she looks a little bit more like a toddler, but I do want to draw her hair as well and then kind of see uh, if I like it that way better. Or maybe she'll be with the painted hair first and then, or drawn hair first, and then we can put a wig on her a little later as she grows up. <laughs> so. But with Bibi Cheyenne, I think I'm going to paint her hair. And of course, I will match it all to their eyebrows. There's the full sun, you guys. Now you can really see the eyebrows in all of their glory. <laughs> so let's go ahead and work now on the head. I will show you how I draw hair on paper first, explain it to you, and then we'll do it on Baby Cheyenne. Okay, guys, so here we are with our paper. The way you start your hair is you start it on the back of the head, um, right there, and you start with a swirl. Whoops, <laughs> look what happened to my pencil. Oh no, I don't like wasting these pencils. I wonder if I can draw like this. So there's like a little swirl like that, and it's kind of going all different directions. Okay, I'm going to get a different pencil. This is just a regular pencil. So you've got a swirl and it kind of going out different directions, right? It looks kind of like a hurricane forming here. And as you're going to different directions, um, you're kind of splitting these things like this and like that. And it's all going 
into different directions of the head. All right, guys, hopefully you can see this. So here's our head, and here's the back of the head, right? Like this way is where we want to start our swirl. Okay, do you see the swirl? And then the swirl keeps going kind of like this, right? You keep going around and around and around and around, right? So you're making this map. And as you map it out, you can make more of these come out. And let's see, like here, here, for example, you know that the hair is going to go around the ear, right? So you can go like this and then like that and then connect this with that. Same thing here. You want to take this line and you want to make it go around the ear. By the way, if you're having a hard time drawing, like on some areas the pencil doesn't draw very well, um, you would have to repeat the step we did before this, which is um, putting a varnish all over the area that you're going to paint. Uh, bake it one more time and then it should work better. Okay, and as we go to the front, we want to figure out what kind of hair pattern is it going to be in the front. Because on the back, it's pretty predictable, right? <laughs> you know, the hair goes around like this, around the ear, and then it comes um, like this, and like this, and like this to the back, and then it kind of meets here. But the front, you can kind of um, make a part here where the hair parts here and it goes around this way, or the part is here and it goes this way, or the hair just grows completely forward with a little swirl at the end here. So you just um, do whatever you like. Let me figure out what I want to do with baby Cheyenne here and uh, you guys will see what will happen, okay? Well guys, unfortunately while I was drawing the hair in the last clip my microphone died so <laughs> thankfully I wasn't talking a lot but I just wanted to show you again what was happening here, what I was drawing. It's starting to look like something, right? I guess what I was saying is that if you have those lines that you mapped out and they look a little too straight, you can always wipe them um, away and just draw your hair the way you wanted it. And also, as you can see on some of the spots here, um, the pencil wasn't catching on to the vinyl because it wasn't as rough. Apparently I missed some spots with the um, varnish. So I'm going to add some varnish to the head. I'm going to bake it after that. And then when it's cooled off, I'm going to finish drawing out all the hairs um, with a little more details, kind of like right here, but with even more details than that. And once I'm done, I'm going to come back and show you what happened. Here's a little update on baby Lillian. Just wanted to show you how she's turning out, how her hair is looking. Looking nice, especially this side I really like. And I just wanted to point out how I made these shapes um, kind of like little flames or like uh, little curves here. And they kind of all come together here and here as well as right here and here you can kind of see how I put more hairs at the bottom of the swirl like this and like this and then there's going to be less hairs this way 
Of course, I still have to do a lot of more details, but I just wanted to kind of show you how I was doing it in these little sections. So it looks more natural and doesn't just look all straight down and up. Also see how it goes around the ear, just naturally like that. And here's a little bit of hair growing right here by the eyebrows in the temples. So I'm going to keep working on her and on Cheyenne as well. By the end of the video, we should be all done. All right, you guys, I really honestly thought that by the end of this video, I'll be actually finished with both heads. It turns out it is quite time consuming to be um, drawing baby doll's hair by hand and trying to make it kind of three dimensional. I just wanted to show you the progress on Lillian's head. This is where we started, right? Looking like this and this is kind of where I'm at. Doesn't it just look so neat and um, realistic? This is probably the most realistic hair I've ever drawn on a doll. So that's really cool. I'm kind of working here on her wispy bangs. And um, I'm definitely going to show her to you in the next video when we're going to work on nails, lips, sealing the doll, glossing the doll, applying eyelashes, magnet. I think we can do it all in one video. And then our doll will be ready to be put together. By the way, guys, I don't know about you, but I honestly haven't expected that I would like baby Lillian as much as I do now, that she's got eyebrows and she's getting this gorgeous hair. I'm not even sure I'm going to put a wig on her now. Not after all this time I am spending on her hair. So if you guys are really excited to see these girls done, and if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time.